I have a dear friend of mine who's Middle Eastern. She says, have you ever tried red lentil soup? And I said, no. She says, it's the easiest thing and the most savory ones. So here is the ingredients. I'm gonna put them up here. You can stop the screen and take them down. And she says, the simplest soup you'll ever make, the most delicious and nourishing and satisfying. So I had my husband who loves to cook help me here. Some of these ingredients, she said, you don't really have to put potatoes, but we do. We love it. it makes for a thicker soup. She said, for you, since you're new at this, I want you to soak the lentils overnight. And they grew three times their size. Here I have garlic, onion, and I added tomato because I love tomatoes. She said, you can ask, add some cumin and coriander if you want, and I did. I didn't have, those are not in the ingredients, but you can add anything you want. So she said, uh, make sure that you, you don't want to burn your onion. So just until it's a little translucent, you don't want to burn your garlic either. And um, all you need right here, she says, is make sure that the, the vegetables are coated with the oil. Once you add your lentils, keep stirring, she says, because it will get stuck. The lentils tend to stick to the bottom of the pan. So just keep stirring and don't stop stirring until you add your water or your liquid. I will be adding six cups of liquid here. So it's either broth or water. It depends on how much flavor you want in here. Another thing she said is make sure that once you cover this, you come back every five minutes or so and stir it. She says, believe me, I have scorched or burnt the bottom I've burned the lentils on the bottom of the pot and it tastes terrible and I have to throw it out and start again so do not whatever you do do not stop stirring it and you cook it for about a half an hour once you see it nice and creamy you can either leave it like it is or I do this she says And I followed her instructions exactly the way she said it. I'm telling you, it, it tasted so delicious. I'll be doing this a lot because right now, outside it's 28 degrees. Even though there's no snow, it's extremely freezing cold. She said to add, add some paprika if I wanted to. I love cilantro on all my soups. I add a little couple of drops of lemon and cilantro to mine. And oh boy, it was super, super delicious. I hope you enjoy this and you mm. give it a try because it was delicious. Mm -hmm. See you on the next one. Bye-bye. Mm. And as always, hit the bell, like, share, and subscribe.